going to talk to you about some things I've learned on my life journey. Most from experience, some of them I've learned from others, but most I'm still practicing today. But all of them I believe are very true today. Working out the source code is not easy. Life is not easy. It's complicated. It's so noisy, distracting. When we relax, when we switch off from the outside world, where do we go? The movies? Music? Gaming. Ha! Gaming, that digital realm fix. That escapism from many of us. Dude, gaming is not easy. It's not fair. Never was, never will be. But don't fall into that social trap. The question we have to ask ourselves is, what is our foundation to us? What is our foundation to you? Is it more time to escape? Maybe it's a more healthier attitude. Maybe a balanced, happily family life while you're escaping. Maybe it's your path to make a mark on this world to be the best. Ask yourself that question. Whatever your answer is, don't choose your path that will jeopardize your soul. Practice who you are, who you want to be, and don't put time and energy with anything that jeopardizes your character. The first thing is what defines your character, that what we have to put the work in to maintain it. Keep the things that are important to you. Where you are not is as important as where you are. So the first step that leads to our identity in life is not, I know who I am. The first step is, I know who I am not. It's a simple process of elimination. Define the things that suck your energy. Just don't go there. Put them down. And when you quit giving them your time, you inadvertently find yourself spending more time with things that are healthy for you. Things that bring you more joy. Get rid of the excess, the distractions. Decrease your noise. And if you do this, accidentally, innocently, put in front of you what is important. The path to enlightenment is hard. Like it or not, we are the foundation to the next generation. A wise man says, monkey see, monkey do. So do what you put into your body and mind. Being healthy is also what you think. So, do you play Warzone, Grand Theft, Fortnite? The meta hasn't changed in two decades. It always will be and forever be that meta. However, how is your foundation? How is your excess? As a father, it's my responsibility to teach and guide my younger generation. I do play competitively. I do play 18s. And I will be playing Cyberpunk. However, my path to enlightenment, my foundation has boundaries that I hope that I will influence and guide my young, younger generation along. So if I don't deem a game appropriate, I set the boundaries and we'd actively hope they respect my judgement and protection as a father. Games are classified for a reason. Their inherent nature is what they are. I don't expect Warzone to feed my son's 12-year-old soul and absolutely, categorically, never my 7-year-old daughter. These are my foundations I lay out in the most honest respectful manner. Don't put time and energy with anything that jeopardizes your character. It's okay, I'm here to help. It's not easy, peer pressure, society's pressure. They want that 18 game. They want that violent gun wielding experience for it's zombies, monsters, or even noobs. It's okay to say no. It's okay to guide. It's okay for them to follow your example. Do me one favor. Put a kettle on and watch it boil for three minutes. Then go and play your favourite game for three minutes. Come back and tell me your experience. Time is fluctuable. How is your digital detox with yourself and your children? Awareness is what you put into your body and soul. How much do you stay attached to that matrix? How often? Having awareness is half the battle. That game you always go to, that social media group you're always chin-wagging with. I'm not judging you. 
and I'm not judging myself, but honestly, build a digital detox around your foundation. Build no technology zones in your life. Set rules, parameters and boundaries. Set up digital free zones where you can build up beautiful human bonds with loved ones, family and friends. And don't pendulum too much. Don't go from one excess of blacking to binging. Bring a balance and put things that monopolize your time down. And when you quit giving them your time, you inadvertently find yourself spending more times that are healthy for you. Make your change a big priority and a small step. Thank you, and I'll see you in your future. And for the younger ones, Enjoy Sackboy and the PlayStation 5. Peace and keep on gaming.